Welcome back to Positively Port St. Lucie. I'm Sarah Prohaska, Public Information Officer with the City of Port St. Lucie. With me is Kim Cook, also from our Communications Department. Hello. And we're here today, right now, with Larry Lankow from our Parks and Recreation Department. And the holidays are here, and Parks and Recreation has a ton of things happening. Yes, um, yeah. every year we have stuff almost every week, two, three times a week. I mean, it's it's amazing of all the fun stuff we get to do with the kids in the area and all that. Yeah, and it's literally all ages. You got stuff for teenagers, you got stuff for the little guys, you've got things that, you know, adults would enjoy. So there's a wide Thank gamut, you. and Larry's here to tell us about some of these so you guys can plan your your next month really there's stuff almost every yeah, every we, weekend we have really. stuff pretty much every weekend yeah. every day um you know we started the the holidays off with our festival of lights which is december 3rd um it's a fun event we light the the tree we have a lighted uh parade um there's live music dance groups arts and craft vendors we have uh snow come in that's awesome. for oh, that's the kids to seller. come and play oh, yeah. Yeah. is it a machine or how what, what is um it? we have uh a company come out and uh -huh. they crush uh, seven tons of ice and it's just a huge mound of, of okay of snow for these kids to go out and play That's and it, awesome. it lasts all day I usually we'll come back Monday and there's still ice out there oh my goodness yeah because when you're from Florida you don't get it no, <laughs> no. You unless get... unless you're going up north to visit relatives exactly so, yeah, yeah and the, yeah. the kids always look forward to it I mean there's a line before it's even ready for the kids to come in so what about what time should kids get there if they are looking to go? Normally, the, the, the snow we start around four o'clock. Okay, and so the parade starts the, at the parade starts at six um, sharp. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, okay. it won't rain this year. Last year, it rained no. the entire time. We've had oh. good weather this year. Last year was a rainy winter, but, but so far this year we we're getting some beautiful nights. Yes, so yeah, hopefully. and uh, the tree just came in this morning, so Ooh. we'll be getting okay. it decorated for you know to be ready in two weeks. Okay, and then after the parade is when you light it up. Yeah, we light the tree mm -hmm. usually. A half hour 45 minutes after the parade ends okay so stay to the end come not and it runs from 2 to 10 right 2 to 10 yeah okay. um, you know we have fire baton planned we have oh, you know wow. a, a huge band lights like it's it's a lot of fun and you've got some of the marching bands from the schools right yeah and the, the parade, parade. Yeah. usually have all of the local uh, high schools come out Treasure Coast mm -hmm. Centennial PSO high school so it's really neat. even some of the middle schools come out and perform so that's really nice that's I don't think nice. we've said where this is at this will be all at the Civic Center all at the Civic outside Center, the yes. Civic Center right so yeah. okay all right, so that's a big one. <laughs> what else do we have? Um, How can you top the yeah, snow? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the snow, that's a pretty And And um, so not too long after that, um, on the 9th, we have Pancakes with Santa. So that's a fun one. Okay. Um, so there's Pancakes, Santa will be there. There's different games, arts and crafts, you know, and we just tell everybody bring, bring a camera because, mm -hmm. you know, that way you can get plenty of pictures and... That's always the fun thing is seeing the baby's first picture yeah. and they're screaming. And yeah, <laughs> and it's uh, that's awesome because you know you go to the mall to get your picture with Santa and you have to wait in line and it's a whole day. So come yes. here and you get a pancake. Yeah, yeah. come There's here. Pancakes, fruit, yeah. you know, juices. Um, and then as we said, he's Santa will be there for like two hours, so there's mm -hmm. plenty of time to get up there and you don't have that's to wait nice. in line. You can do other stuff and then go up as the line kind of slows down. And that's at the community it center. It is at the community center, yeah. It starts at 9.30. Okay. So. And the community center is on Oroso. Most people know that, but yeah. they might yeah, not know that. Yeah, Oroso. usually we just say right across from City Hall in the yeah. police station, and they know where to go. Exactly. All right, awesome. So that's a great one for the younger crowd. Yes, um, definitely. What uh, else do we have? The other fun thing is um, mm -hmm. we do a light show on the community mm -hmm. center, mm -hmm. which people don't really know what the light show is. It's just a bunch of... Christmas lights mm -hmm. and it dances to music and you know it's all with I think it's 15 16 different songs and it just plays through on a loop for two That's hours really straight yeah. yeah it's really neat I think we have over probably 25,000 LED lights covering the building so it's and it's, it's pretty neat it's choreographer to the to the music the music so. yeah mm -hmm. so everything's flashing to all the sounds yeah. and all the songs like so that's it's a lot of fun a lot of work but oh i bet and that's every i know that's a big hit in my household i've got two young boys and last year we took uh, my oldest one and we met some of his friends from school there and they you would not they had so much fun just watching those lights mm -hmm. it was crazy mm -hmm. and he was asking me just the other day are they doing those lights again so oh, i yeah. said yeah just starting pretty yeah, soon we right? start december, december 1st. 1st and it runs all the way through um january um the only oh, nights great. we don't usually 
run it. We try not to do it when everybody's off for the holidays. Mm -hmm. um, we try, um, but you know, then we have to take somebody away from their family just to sit there to yeah, yeah. to have to it run running. Like, but yeah. usually we do, but we don't always guarantee it. And it's it's what seven to ten? Seven to nine. Seven to um, nine. Normally, okay. I'll start it at six. Just it's already pretty much dark, so mm -hmm. we just let yes. it start running early. Yeah. So. Oh, well, that's good. All right, awesome. I know that is something people know. All right, Port St. Lucie's kind of known for that yeah. one, I think, so that's Yeah, cool. and as we said, the songs, it's almost 45 minutes before you hear the, the same song again. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Oh, that's and each great. Year, yeah, yeah, we add more, that's a good, yeah. more songs to it. So, And I know there's a lot of families that they, they pack everybody in the car and they go driving around just to see all the Christmas oh, lights. Yeah. So it would be nice to stop, yeah. get yeah. out. That's yeah, it could be stop, like the grand so. finale of your exactly. Christmas lights tour right there. Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay. So... And then, yeah, um, I know over at the Civic Center, too, we're doing a special needs um, holiday party and luncheon. Okay. You now, know, that's so really good because I know there's a, there's not as many activities for special needs, so that's mm -hmm. great that the city's offering that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that one's over at the Civic Center, and that will be on December 14th. Um, and then, of course, Santa will be there to take pictures, and it's just a fun fun time let the guys come out and mm -hmm. have some food and yes. yeah. have a good time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's great. So... Yeah, and then, you know, we also have Santa Claus he visits Minsky Gym. Mm -hmm. They do a, you know, you can come out and see Santa. That's December 15th. Okay. So Santa's he'll busy. be there, yeah. Yeah, Santa, like I said, it, come to these. It's a lot easier, mm -hmm. and you get a lot more interaction with Santa, and you get different photos. I mean, lots. you can get your photos here instead of spending a whole day at the mall yeah. waiting in line. Yeah. yeah and, then and then paying a lot of money for pictures. And I forgot to also mention he'll uh -huh. be at the Festival of Lights. Santa will okay. be there available for pictures as well. Great. So usually he, after the parade, he'll go inside the Civic Center, and then he's available to take pictures and hang out. A lot of times parents will bring presents, too, oh, and have great. Him, Santa give him a present while he's there. That's so. a great oh, that's idea. Awesome. Yeah. That's a really great idea. So, but, Okay. Uh, see, and then, you know, mostly um, everything else we have for the holidays is um, – a lot of camps. I was going to ask kids. about the camp because kids are out of school and parents yes. are working. Yes. So we so have an option. For we that. have it every day that the kids are out of school. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing is on the 23rd and 26th, they will, it's only offered at the Civic Center and okay. also on of December, right? Of 20th? December, okay. yes. Uh -huh. And then the 30th and the January 2nd is only at the Civic Center as well. Okay. So, but otherwise, it's Minsky Gym. Yes, and the Civic and the Center. Civic Center. Yep. Okay. And it's fourteen seventy three a, a person okay. per day, and you know we open at seven thirty, and they have to be picked up by five thirty. Do you have to pre-register, or can you? You show can up? show up and register, but there's not always guaranteed there'll be a spot left because right. we do fill up pretty fast. So we always try to say to pre-register that way. You don't want to get there, and mm -hmm. then we don't have room yes. for them because safety's first. We can only have a certain amount. Of of kids per counselor so and I'm looking at the phone number for if you want to go to the Civic Center um, camp is 772-878-2277 well that's the main number that's the main the number okay center. so, so if anyone there's somebody there seven days a week okay between eight and eight so that's always the best number to, to call okay that way they can All get right. the most information that we can have all that's right. great too because I mean when you're a parent you have nowhere to bring your child mm -hmm. that's very stressful yeah. <laughs> yeah they've got two whole weeks off some diet sometimes you can take a day or two but it's hard to get two whole weeks oh, yeah. and don't forget you could actually util utilize that time drop your child off and do some Christmas shopping mm -hmm. yeah and it's very affordable it's $14 mm -hmm. a day so I mean, you can't really even get a babysitter for that no. price for yeah. 10 right. hours. Oh, yeah. Yes. Out of the day. <laughs> they, they do crafts. They keep them busy. It's not like they're just sitting around playing video games or watching TV. They're engaged. They're doing stuff. Yeah, right? they play games all yeah. day to go to the playground. Uh -huh. um, and usually we'll try to throw in a, a fun little party for them, at yeah. least one of the days. Okay. Because get ready for Christmas or parties. holidays. Yeah. yeah, get ready for the holidays. <laughs> all right. Okay, so that is a full slate of... Uh, of happenings here um so if anyone is wants more information about these they can just come to, go to the city's website correct yeah. www.cityofpsl.com we've got them all on the home page mm -hmm. all spelled out um, with the times and the dates and um call if there's a cost the cost is on there and if they have to pre-register the phone number is on there too so that's one stop just go to the city's website and you can get 
mm, as much information and on you these can as even, possible. You can even uh, register online right at the okay. city website. Yeah. So Great you don't even need to come in. You can just go right on the computer and sign your kids up and pick right. whatever day you want. And if you do need any help, you just call the main number at the community center mm -hmm. and they'll walk you through it, set you up, and All you'll right. be ready to go. All right. Okay. All right. So, yeah, December that 1st. Fantastic. December 1st is when the the holiday uh, lights start at the community center, and then the following weekend is Festival of Lights. Festival of Lights. Yeah, so, so definitely yeah, mark your we're, calendars. Yeah, we're, we're ready. We're yeah. ready for for the holidays. Yeah, here. and then the parade is usually, I mean, it's amazing. We usually have 50 to 60 different entries. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the bands alone, I think each band brings almost 100 kids. So, I mean, they're huge bands. Yeah. Wow, yeah. And then, of course, Sansa will be, you know, he'll finish the parade up at the very end. We even have a Clydesdale oh, wow. strong carriage in the parade. Wow. Snow, Clydesdale, so, yeah. flames. I mean, yeah. what more could yeah. you ask for? Yeah. <laughs> Exciting night here in Port St. Lucie. Okay. Yeah, I definitely don't want to miss it. Yeah, no, that sounds like, and I know people come back to that every year, too. They make that, a lot of people make that an annual tradition oh here. definitely yeah so. especially just to see the, the tree lit up for the first time mm -hmm. so that's everybody's always piled around that tree waiting for it so all right okay larry well thank you so much for coming and sharing all this great information for our residents yeah. make sure they know what we're doing all these things we want to make sure they know about it and can plan about plan their their vacation or their time so they can take part so thank well, you thank you for having me all right